hi and welcome to my channel so do you need experience to apply for uk carer jobs and if you do need experience what counts as experience how much experience do you need also all these courses that people are doing do you need a course to apply for uk carer jobs if so what course do you need look in this video i'm going to be telling you how to apply for uk carer jobs how to secure uk carer jobs with zero experience which means no experience whatsoever and before we set the pace look working as a carer in the uk you don't need any degree you don't need any experience you don't need any qualifications you need nothing whatsoever to get carer jobs in the uk in fact anybody can just wake up and say oh i want to work as a carer in the uk off you go you know that's basically what you can do unlike other professions such as being an accountant being a doctor being a nurse where you require a degree in that particular sector so again in this video we're going to be covering are courses relevant if so which courses if they are not relevant what is really really that determining factor to getting carer jobs in the uk look i remember the good old days when um carer jobs were added to the shortage occupation list when it was brand new it was amazing it was really easy getting jobs because all you did was you applied you got your listed you did your interview you got a job clean and plain but look, fast forward till today, there's all sorts of complications getting care of jobs. All sorts of people have gotten into the sector and it's just become, I don't know, a cumbersome um, operation getting a care of job. But the truth is that the UK is still currently recruiting carers. They are still actively recruiting. And yes, they are indeed offering visa sponsorship because one of the questions I get asked very frequently, especially these days, is Melvis is the UK still recruiting carers? Is it still worth moving to the UK as a carer? Please, it is a hundred percent worth it. But I can tell you that it's a lot more challenging getting a carer job right now than it was say a year ago. And every passing day, it becomes more and more challenging because there are thousands of people applying, and it's just what it is. It's an oversaturated industry, if I can call it that. So obviously, if you're new to my channel, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber. I appreciate your time and I do hope that you're finding these videos helpful and most importantly, you're implementing the information. And look, before I get started, I have a free newsletter where I send you information about the best visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK, free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK, career progression pathways in the UK, work from home opportunities worldwide, you know, high paying jobs that you can do from the comfort of your own home anywhere in the world and get paid thousands and thousands of, you know, money for that, as well as side business opportunities that you can start in the UK. So you can earn more money. And like me, if you want to retire early, get to retire early and not work until you drop. So if you're interested in any of these, somebody, if, if you click on this video, then my newsletter is going to be relevant to you so if you check the comment section below you see a link to my newsletter once you join the newsletter then obviously i'll send that info directly to your inbox so that you never miss out on such vital information that is so crucial for your personal and professional development here in this beautiful country the uk it won't take you up to 20 seconds to join the newsletter all you need to do is drop your name and email and you're part of the newsletter also if you've got any question they want to ask me privately you know you can either one leave a comment in the comment section below or you can use my newsletter you see all my contacts on there once you ask that question through there then obviously eventually um i'll be able to respond to you so you can also use that newsletter it's got all my contacts and you can contact me obviously whether it's email whatsapp is all on there so i'm looking forward to kind of interacting with you and communicating with you through that newsletter so that you don't miss out on vital information so like i was saying getting care of jobs in the uk is something that you know it's you don't need any degree you don't need any experience let me say that you know it's still the same thing it's always been the case in the uk and by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel you do want to hit subscribe turn on that notification button so you're the first to be notified every single time when i drop a new video on here and like i've said you know i drop videos about all sorts of things you know career progression opportunities in the uk and all of that visa you know whatever is going on updates and all the like so the first thing that you can do if you want to move to the uk as a carer or if you're already in the uk obviously and you're looking for carer jobs is that look i don't like to say that um somebody doesn't have healthcare experience because if you're a human being you're alive you're breathing i consider 
I personally consider that you've got some sort of healthcare experience because if you've ever cut a finger, if you've ever, you know, supported a child, if you've got kids, you know, you are carrying out those tasks every single day. The only thing is that you're not being paid for that job that you're doing, but working as a carer, which for the purpose of this video is going to cover senior carers, healthcare assistants, carers, support workers, whatever type of carer job, you know, is going to generalize it. And I'm just going to call it carer job. So this covers all of that sector, whether it's support work, healthcare assistant, whatever one you call it, wherever you are, it's going to cover all of that. So I feel that as human beings, we have some level of experience within us that can enable us to care for another person. Because if you have a cut, for example, the principles of caring for a cut are going to be the same. If you're hungry, the principles of feeding yourself, of getting nutrition, you know, into you are exactly the same as you would do for another human being. So if you're watching these, I don't want you to say after today that you've got no experience. Look, you've got experience, but maybe it is not paid experience. So the mindset that you have when looking for carer jobs, if you're not somebody who has had a paid experience in this, is very important because if you carry, carry on sending me emails saying, Melvis, I want to work as a carer in the UK, but I've got no, no experience. Do I need to do nursing? What do I do? No, you have got experience it's only that it is unpaid experience so what you need to do is try to harness you know those skills that you have and find out how you can put it on paper so you're the best candidate and by the way if you're watching this and you're wondering who i am my name is melvis i currently work um in england so i work here in the uk as an advanced nurse practitioner so i'm a nurse myself i started my healthcare journey as a carer in a nursing home so i've done domiciliary care i've done all sorts of carer jobs myself and then i decided i was going to study nursing as an international student in the uk which is what i did and then i've progressed really well after that to now working as an advanced nurse practitioner which is a really senior clinical nursing position so it's been a lot of hard work but it's all worth it in the end and it's just part of those opportunities that the UK brings so I have a private career coaching service where I support nurses carers student nurses students you know anyone that is looking for UK visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK or you're already in the UK maybe you're trying to switch a visa then I can support you through my private coaching program to make sure that you get the best visa sponsorship opportunities clinical non-clinical healthcare jobs you know career progression let's say you're a carer for example but you were a nurse back home and you're thinking oh my goodness how do I transition into nursing or oh, you've got no experience whatsoever in terms of paid experience but you want to get into healthcare whether you're already in the uk or out of the uk i can support you with that as well if you're already in the uk and you're keen on career progression you're thinking oh my goodness how do i progress one step further how do i get to being i don't know a nurse a midwife a doctor what is the process i can support you with that cv writing interview preparation what are the different pathways available what's best for your personal circumstances to make sure that you know, you'll get the best opportunities that are available here in the UK. So you need to check the description box below or the about section of this YouTube channel. And you're going to see a link to a private coaching program. And I really do look forward to working with you where you're going to get that tailored, individualized and personalized support that you deserve in order to excel, to thrive, succeed and to live the best life here in the UK. That's what the program is going to do. You're also going to have, you know, access to all sorts of courses, other members as well who can advise you, who have either gone through the process that you've, you're going through right now. You know, it's just amazing. We have a beautiful supportive community that you're going to get the support that you need because the YouTube videos like this are good, but they're too generic. If you want that individualized advice and support, which is what you really need to take that action, to move forward, then join my private coaching program and I'll see you on there. But obviously my newsletter is free. So do feel free, obviously, to check the comment section below and join the newsletter. I'll send that info directly to your inbox. So let's get into this. So courses, that's the first thing we're going to talk about. Courses. There are so many courses now that people are doing. Some are online, some are face-to-face. -face. What value do these courses add to you getting a carer job? Or do they actually add any value? Look, I'm going to tell you that when you study anything, there is always that advantage that you gain more knowledge and gaining more knowledge is always a good thing. But are these courses mandatory to you getting carer jobs in the UK? The truth is that they are not. 
which means whether you do the course or not, it doesn't really make much difference to you getting that carer job. I just want to put this out straight because some people are like, hey, Melvis, I've done my 15 courses or whatever courses you've done. And I don't know why I'm not getting a job because I've got everything that is needed. Look, the only thing you need to get a carer job in the UK is to get a job. You know what I mean? So if you're saying that you've got everything that is needed, you've spent a lot of time and money preparing those requirements, well, you need to focus on getting the actual job. So there are many courses that you can do. Obviously, um, thousands of people are currently doing those courses, which means that those courses are not, you know, you doing the course is not unique to you. It's not a unique selling point. Because thousands of other people are doing the same course as you. And so you want to find out, you know, you want to find something that is going to distinguish you from other people. And we're going to talk about that further because now we're still talking about the courses. So something that is going to distinguish you from the other candidates is what is ultimately going to help you get that job quicker rather than say the courses. Because if you're doing the same course, like I say, there are thousands of other people doing exactly the same course as you, which means that if you're recruiting, because you're seeing every candidate with those courses, you know, it doesn't add any value because everyone's got them. So you do need to be careful. For example, if you're spending a lot of money to do a course, whether it's already in the UK or you're still out of the UK, you need to know that that course is not mandatory because I know people that have contacted me and have said, look, Melvis, I paid millions to do an online course to become a carer in the UK, but I've got no job. And now I'm thinking I've spent all this money and I'm like, well, you know, just keep applying for jobs. That's what I say, because what else can I say? So that's the first thing regarding those courses. So, yes, a course is good because, you know, it's information and information is always good for the soul. It's good for the body. It's good for the human being, but it is not mandatory. So you need to be careful which course you do and how much you're spending in terms of time and money on doing those courses. Because like I say, if it was all about getting courses, then nurses, midwives, doctors will get all the carer jobs. Because if you're a nurse with a nursing degree or a doctor, because there are many overseas doctors coming to the UK as carers as well, pharmacists, you know, experienced healthcare professionals in very senior positions. If it was all about courses, those people would get all the jobs, but that's not the case. You're having people who have never done any course, who've never had any healthcare experience, they apply for carer jobs, and they are in the UK right now with no experience. And that should tell you that having that course is not the determining factor. Because if it were, you know, then obviously those healthcare professionals will get all the courses. And by the way, are you currently applying for carer jobs in the UK? Are you in the UK as a carer? What has your experience been? Leave a comment in the comment section um, so that, you know, if you've got any questions as well, you can leave those questions in the comment section and I'll join you on there and we can discuss that further to see, uh, you know, what is happening. If you're currently struggling, for example, with um, getting carer jobs, what is your main worry right now? What is your main struggle? Um, what do you need help with? Again, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be able to give my own advice and what I think about it and what I would do if I was in that position. So that's the first thing, courses. The second thing is voluntary experience. Like we were saying, unpaid experience. Look, if you haven't got any experience whatsoever in terms of paid experience, can you do voluntary experience, you know? which is where you're unpaid, but then you're in, say, a clinical facility, like a hospital or a nursing home, you know, or some charity work, would that help? Just so that because you need a reference, somebody can give you that legal reference. This is the advantage that having that voluntary work does bring. So, because obviously they're going to give you um, a reference, which is going to help to get the job. So, again, if you don't have any paid experience, one good thing actually that would be relevant and beneficial to do would be to actually go to a healthcare facility and get some voluntary experience obviously if you can get paid experience it's good but if it's you know if they're not looking for any staff at that particular moment then you can actually offer to just help them out and say look you know can i just have some voluntary experience on here and you'll be able to have that exposure, but you need to negotiate and make sure that they are happy and willing to give you a reference. Because if they are not, look, I wouldn't do it there. I would find another place that is willing and ready to give me, you know, that reference. Then you can include that on your CV. Because that's the advantage of having 
that Bologna experience. So it is really, really um, something that can help from the reference perspective. But then you don't want to spend a lot of money on this. You don't want to go. And that's why, like I was saying about those courses, some people are spending millions to do a course because maybe the course is like for three months with an attached you know placement that is part of the course so you need to be careful if you can negotiate it directly with those you know i don't know hospitals depends on where you live obviously um just see what is on offer but i think that every country you know they would have voluntary service everywhere so that also gives you that exposure to be able to get really close and personal to healthcare, you know, to clients, to patients. And you can also make that informed decision and think, hmm, is it something that is right for me? Is it not? Because look, carer jobs are not right for everybody. If it's not for you, please find other things. There are other jobs in the UK currently offering visa sponsorship. There's construction, there's bricklayers, there's teachers. There's all sorts of jobs offering visa sponsorship. So it is not only carers. If you don't want carer jobs, that is okay. Apply for the other jobs. Because I've seen people come to the UK and they're like, hey, Melvis, I don't want to be a carer. This was not my intention. And I'm like, why did you apply for the job then? So, again, you need to make sure that, you know, you're choosing the best pathway for you. Because, yes, there are many different pathways that are offering visa sponsorship in the UK. So, don't feel pressured. Don't feel obliged to go for carer job. That's why I do videos on this channel about other opportunities that you can actually go for and by the way if you haven't subscribed to the channel you do want to hit subscribe right now turn on that notification button so you're the first to be notified when i drop a new video on here but most importantly if you haven't joined my newsletter check the comment section below once you join the newsletter i send that info directly to your inbox when there's any changes any updates uk immigration laws visa sponsorship opportunities work from home jobs that are really highly paid as well as um career progression opportunities and you know other opportunities to start your own side business in the uk because look all these carrier jobs are just there to help you get your foot in but you need to find other ways of earning more money because if you're a carrier in the uk you're only going to be earning like twenty thousand pounds that is a very small amount of money you cannot live on that amount of money it is too small and if you've got a family you've got kids you need to be wise you need to be smart you need to immediately start looking for other options so that you can progress, for example, and get to other high paying jobs. Because look, we go on about all these carer jobs. The pay is so bad. The pay is really, really bad. And that's why I go on and on about career progression. Other opportunities, you know, you can do jobs that they're going to pay you more. Yes, the carer job is there to keep your visa, but it's not going to be able to sustain. You know, I have many colleagues that are carers it's hard really if you're already in the uk you understand what i mean so you need to really be wise and find other ways that you can earn more money to supplement your income so that is it then the next thing is look and this is the most important thing when it comes to getting care jobs your cv <laughs> i cannot stress enough this is the only thing that you need and that you need to do well to get a care job is getting a good perfect cv if you don't have a perfect CV, whether you've got experience, paid, unpaid, you're a nurse, you're a doctor, you know, you've got voluntary experience, you've got this, that does not have any role whatsoever to play if your CV isn't spot on. And by the way, I've done a video on this channel on how to position a UK CV for success so that you're the best candidate, so that you're successful and so that you are the chosen candidate. If you haven't watched that video, you don't want to watch that video so that, you know, you can get to know how to position yourself but also if you want me to do a video specific for carer jobs please leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to do that so that it can help you with that journey but most importantly if you need a cv review from me you want me to actually help you with your own cv then consider joining my private coaching program which is where i help with all of that you know you get that tailored personalized individualized you know support you and I will have one-to-one -one sessions where we'll go through, you know, what are you looking for? What's your experience? What's best for you? How do you position yourself? What CV have you got? What needs updating? What needs changing? How do you position it? So we actually go through all of that to make sure that your CV is perfect, is spot on. And that's why success rates for people that are part of my private coaching program are so high. That's why many of them are successful with getting these jobs because we focus on what really matters, which is how is your CV? This is the only determining factor to you getting a carer job. Your experience does not matter. Your knowledge does not matter. Have you got courses? Have you not got courses? The truth is that those things don't matter. 
it is how you're able to present yourself on the CV that is ultimately going to be the determining factor whether you get the job or not. I cannot stress enough on the importance of this. And you need to understand your CV because some people have joined my coaching program and they've got a CV and they're like, hey, Mel, this, I paid somebody to do this CV for me. And I'm looking at the CV and thinking, okay, what does this mean? And they're like, Mel, this, I don't know what it means, but that's what the person, you know, it doesn't make sense. You need to understand what's on your CV. You need to have the ability to defend everything that's on your CV. So you can't just delegate somebody to do a CV for you or you go out there and you say, oh, what's this under UK CV? You download anything and you're using to apply for jobs. If that's what you're doing, it's going to be very difficult to get a job. And that's why you see that some people have been applying for career jobs for a year, for two years. They still haven't got one. Your CV is the most important thing. Some people are nurses, for example, with 20 years of experience in nursing. They're trying to get a career job now. One year, two years down the line, they still haven't got a job. Look, everything lies on your CV. So you need to be able to have a CV that is like world-class CV so that you can stand out from all the other candidates and be able to get that job ASAP. Like I say, I cannot overemphasize enough of everything that I've said in this video. The single thing that you need to rise to get a job is the CV. And then point number four, apply for jobs. Look, once you've got that killer CV, the next thing you need to do then is to apply for jobs. Look, when you're applying for jobs, you need to be very smart. You need to understand what type of career job it is what the expectations are for that specific job and then every time tailor your cv to the specific needs of that job the employer and the recruiter that is the thing that you need like i said to get the uk carriage job. the first two things which is having experience having courses those things don't really matter much because if you've got a lot of experience and you don't know how to talk about your experience you don't know how to position yourself you know in the market then i'm sorry that experience nobody's gonna see it nobody you know if somebody just reads that our oh, 20 years experience as a nurse is very boring it's how you're going to describe yourself what words are you going to use to distinguish yourself from the other candidates that is ultimately what's going to make a difference so when you're applying for those jobs like i said you need to look at what the job is actually requesting what they're asking Look at what the recruiter wants. Look at what the organization wants. Those three things need to be so perfect, so on point, that that's what you need to be able to distinguish yourself from all the other candidates. Because if you're doing online courses, 200,000 other people are doing the same course as you. You know, if you're paying somebody millions to do a course, there are many other people doing the same course as you. And those people are going to be applying for the same job that you're applying for. So having a course does not distinguish you because many other people have it. But it is how you present yourself that ultimately matters. I cannot stress enough whether it's for senior positions, whether it's for junior positions, whether it's for carers, even it's nursing, any industry any sector is how you position yourself that matters it's like degrees if you're studying for a degree there are thousands of other people studying for the same degree as you the people that get jobs are the ones that are able to better articulate what they've got out of that degree so it's the same thing here for career jobs especially now when the industry is so saturated all sorts of people are offering all sorts of things you need to be smarter so if you're watching my videos and you're implementing the things I'm saying, you will get a job very, very soon. If you're part of my private coaching program, you know what I always say, you know, it's not how many jobs you apply for, but it is how you apply for the one job that you've applied for. Because ultimately, the only thing you need to get a job is one successful, you know, application. You don't need to apply for thousands of jobs because you only need one job. So you need to take your time, make sure your application is on point, spot on you know, and all of that so that you can stand out from the rest of the candidates and you can be, you know, when somebody looks at your CV and your application, they're like, oh my goodness, Melvis, you're exactly who we need. This is exactly what we want. This is exactly the sort of person we want, you know, to work with and that's how you want to be. So I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you do want to hit subscribe, turn on the notification button so you're the first to be notified when I drop a new video on here. If you haven't joined my newsletter, check the comment section below and join the newsletter. If you've got any questions for me, do feel free. you see my contacts on the newsletter as well. If you need that tailored, individualized, personalized support that you deserve to have, consider joining my private coaching program because that's why I'm able to support you. Have a look at your CV. 
you know, talk about your experience, talk about the journey that you've had, what is unique to you, what's your unique selling point, put that down on your CV so that you can get that job, whether you're already in the UK to switch your visa or you're still out trying to move here, you've got everything that you need in order to do that. Because look, I cannot stress enough the fact that the only thing you need right is a CV. There's nothing else because experience, qualifications, you don't need any of that to get UK carer jobs. And that is true. And people are moving to this country from different professions, people that have never worked at all. They don't have any, nothing. And they are working here. They've got UK visas and they're working here as carers now as we speak. But there are colleagues who've got extensive healthcare experience, for example, and they're not able to get jobs because it's all about the CV. It's all about the presentation. So, you know, that's what I'm all about. If you want information about other types of UK visas, opportunities to go in the UK, career progression pathways, you know, check, you know, the channel. Obviously, I've done lots of videos on that. And do make sure that you share this with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they too can benefit from this information. And, you know, if they're struggling, obviously, to get those current jobs, this helps them, you know, and they are able to successfully apply for those jobs. Because I'm, I, I like... You know, just supporting and making sure that people who don't know what they should be doing, they've got access to that information. And that's why I do these videos. So, again, I hope that you found this helpful. Um, the video is gone on for quite a while now. Oh, my God, 26 minutes. So, but the thing is, it's just how important all the points are. And I felt the need to elaborate further so that all of it can then make sense. So, I do hope that you found this helpful and you can implement this so that it helps you in your own journey to be able to get the job that you want, move to this beautiful country or remain in the UK and have a beautiful life. And I wish you all the success and keep watching the videos.